Hey, as you will probably be able to tell pretty quickly from my accent, I am not American. I am Danish. I came here about eight years ago, and one of the first things that struck me was uh, your urinals here. When you enter a uh, men's room in the US, you'll see like a long row and then a low one. Two high ones and a low one. A single high, a low, a single sad, low urinal. <laughs> and I was like, Are this, is this place really that kid friendly? That's like, that's awesome. But a lot of these places were workplace or uh, 21 and over places, weird place to be kid friendly. And it wasn't about the kids, it never is. It's the uh, uh, American Disability Act that says that um, at least one urinal has to be no more than 17 inches off the ground, whereas normal urinals are 24 inches off the ground. And coming from a, a fairly progressive country like Denmark that's good for disabled people, it was a bit surprising to find something um, as lowly as the urinal more uh, regulated here than in Denmark. There was something else that struck me. That was the blandness, the whiteness, the white on whiteness of American restrooms. Like this uh, picture here is from the Car Museum in Tacoma on the opening weekend of the Corvette exhibition, right next to the NASCAR exhibition, as you can clearly see. <laughs> so why aren't urinals, why aren't they thought in as, the, as part of the overall experience of a place? Why are these peripheral things just not thought in, just left as non-rooms, unrooms out to the side? It's a missed opportunity. Um, you could do so much. Like, I mean, you could just have put some cars in there on the car museum. Come on, it's not a far stretch. Um, or you could think about putting in some messages, something that drives home what you are about as an establishment. Um, like, if you're a bar, don't drink and drive. If you are a nightclub, uh, condoms for safe sex, uh, school, like don't forget the test or music place. These are the upcoming shows. Or if you have nothing to say, just entertainment. You got, uh, you got us for about 30 seconds, like look in there. Um, uh, good. Or you can go further and you can like play on men. We are in a vulnerable position, always insecure about the size of things. <laughs> and you can just play on that. Or you could go further. You could start questioning what is it that you're peeing on? What is the size and shape of a urinal? The one uh, with the lips have caused a lot of problems for people who've tried to install that. But it's, I think it's a, it's a great, what if you were a music place? What if you were a music place or an art place? And the musical instruments or the urinals look like musical instruments or the art objects? It would be a great opportunity to, to sort of make us question what is it that we're doing here. Uh, <laughs> And it, uh, it doesn't have to be super expensive. Uh, a standard urinal that you see everywhere is $975. The ones you see here, about $400. This same company uh, makes them up to $2,500, so we're in the same ballpark. Um, and I'm not asking for a whole lot. This is from a sports bar out in East Side Sammamis. There are four big TVs in the main room. And then when you go out, there's a sports section front page from that day. And it just ties it all together as being about sport. Or eight ounce burger up on, um, up on Capitol Hill. They have cakes in the main room, and they have cakes in the restroom for storage, and the urinal is a cake. Like, do they, do they care about beer? They probably care about beer. I've like, got that impression from being up there. Um, and the main reason I'm bringing this up today is we all make urinals. We all have these places in our products, whether physical or software, that are these peripheral places, not part of the core experience, where people only have to go once in a while. When we all design under some amount of constraints, like the low urinal, like technical, legal constraints, and it's up to us to decide whether to take these um, peripheral places, the peripheral parts of the experience, and just leave them white on white, bland, <laughs> or to use them to tie together the whole experience and make all of it that much more memorable. And that was all for today. Thank you very much. Hope you learned something.